Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Marmalade Partner Webinar Series. I'm Steph Jorgel. I'm the Head of Americas for Marmalade, and I'll be your host for this series. The Marmalade Partner Webinar Series is designed to share thought leadership, trends, and tips around the services and integrations that work with the Marmalade Cross-Platform Game Development SDK, and features partners like Flurry, Fortuno, House Offers, Dolby, Payment Wall, Game House, and others. We will start off today with 45 minutes of presentation, followed by 15 minutes of Q&A. Feel free to post your questions during the presentation in the lower left part of the screen. We will address your questions just following the presentation. Today, we are featuring Dolby, and our guest speaker is Eric Eng, Head of Developer Programs for Dolby, who's going to walk, walk us through a presentation on how to improve the audio in your mom -like game. Eric will also do a live interview with game developer Ken Grant following his presentation. Ken is a Marmalade game developer, Marmalade master, and maker of the games Build and Dash 3D, Savior 3D, and many others. Again, I thank you for joining us. And now I'll hand you over to our presenter. Eric, are you there? Hey, guys. Thank you, Steph, for the introduction. Uh, I'm glad to be here. And on behalf of Dolby, we are excited to be partnering believe that it's a great platform and um, we want to see continued success with uh, games using Armalade. Um, so let me give you guys a brief history of Dolby, especially for those that on the call that don't know who we actually are. Um, so, so first and foremost, uh, who are we? Uh, Dolby is an audio technology company. Uh, we're the company that helps audio sound amazing on TVs and speakers. Uh, sold by manufacturers like Sony and Bose. Uh, well, a lot of people ask me the question, oh, where are your Dolby speakers or Dolby headphones? Sadly, we don't make any of those. We only provide the audio technology behind that. Um, we've been around since the 1960s, uh, starting with noise reduction. And in the 70s, movie companies like Lucasfilm, uh, based out in the Bay Area, decided to use our technologies, knowing we were the best in the industry. So rather, Going into detail, what I want to point out here on this slide is that Dolby is well known in the cinema and the home theater space, but we're starting to venture into the small screen space as well. Um, why would we venture into the mobile and tablet space, you might ask? Mainly demand. Consumer awareness is on the rise when it comes to audio on small screen devices. While the main focus has been on processor speed, how much memory is on device, how many pixels are, um, the industry is starting to notice that audio completes that story in terms of experience. Amazon, the Kindle Fire devices, for example, have been marketing their, their products to their consumers and talking about how great the audio is on device. Um, I like this quote that I have on the slide and it says the following, the sound is very good Hard to believe you can get that on these speakers. So Amazon isn't the only one. Companies like Samsung, LG, HTC, Sony know that the user experience is important to the consumer. And they're putting a lot of effort into making the audio experience as good as it can be. What does this mean for app developers, especially you guys on the call today, uh, you Marmalade developers? You guys have been focused on so many things where audio hasn't been a priority. But because the consumer landscape is changing, oops, the consumer landscape is changing, um, all that solutions like in-app purchase, ad mobs, game center-like services have been integrated into your Marmalade games, there's an opportunity to call a gravity-like immersive experience that you can get in the movie theater. You can actually get that experience on a mobile device. So how can Dolby help? There are a couple of solutions that I want to talk to you guys about today on this call. And the first one starts with Dolby Digital Plus. DD Plus is Dolby's premier solution. It's been around the industry for roughly eight to 10 years now. And a lot of premium content partners are encoding their assets, their audio assets in DD Plus. Um, so we want to make sure that we extend to, to mobile app developers as well. And the way to do that are are, is actually quite simple. Um, first, you want to secure your audio file. Second, you want to encode your assets, uh, add, it, add it to your project, and build the project. I think the challenge here for is the encoding aspect. 
Well, we've actually partnered up with companies like encoding.com. And if you actually go to their website, uh, uh, you can free uh, one gig's worth of encoding per month. So you, in a year, that would be 12 gigs of audio assets if you really wanted to. So again, this is the tried and true, uh, this is a tried and true uh, solution. And what I want to point out here is CD Plus, the decoder itself, is built into many, many devices out in the market, uh, including DVDs, Blu-rays, TVs, speakers, uh, mobile phones like the Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, and many, many other Android devices out there in the market. So if you do encode your app, it's going to decode and play back perfectly on those uh, Dolby-supported devices. Um, and one of the things I want to point out is not all handsets have DD+. So I want to talk to you guys about um, option number two. And according to Steph, I'll, I'll, I'll try to talk a little slower uh, so that I don't cut out. And I want to talk option two and talk to you guys about that today um, in particular, because I think this is the low-hanging fruit solution for you Marmalade developers. Um, it's a free and easy solution. And what this API does is it allows you to create assets without actually having to create high quality assets. So when we provide our solutions to our hardware manufacturers, we provide them two things. We provide them the decoder and we provide them the audio processing side. Thanks, Steph. And the great thing about this API right here is that you as an app developer, you can leverage that audio processing side that's built into the hardware manufacturer's uh, device. Um, so it works with your existing workflow and it only takes 15 minutes to integrate and it works with all media formats, not just Dolby digital content. So whether you have a WAV file, AUG file, 3 file, all AAC files, all of them just work. And what I want to do is I want to announce to you guys today that we have the Dolby audio plugin for Mar Marmalade available right now. And we did have a beta version that we announced at GDC. Well, we now have the official version uh, available as of today, this morning. So I do wanna talk a little bit about the benefits of this API. And you get a lot of things with it, but I wanna highlight just a few things. And the first one is an audio optimizer. And by the way, these benefits all come for free. They, they're just included. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to turn a flip of a switch or anything. You simply turn Dolby on. Um, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the audio optimizer. It corrects the anomalies and frequency uh, responsive speakers. So a lot of times when you're dealing with small screen devices, you're dealing with cheap speakers. Well, we've been able to get around that. We understand that small speakers uh, and manufacturers sometimes have really cheap speakers. So we have an algorithm built into our products and our solutions where we can tell if the speaker is bad and we'll be able to correct all those problems. Second is an audio regulator. And what this does is if the speaker is trying to play too loudly, you're gonna get distortion. Well, not with our audio regulator. This essentially uh, does something interesting. It, it, on, the, on, on the fly, it's actually listening to the audio before it's actually played. So when, so it knows if it's play if it plays really badly or play, plays really poorly. This audio regulator actually can sense in the future and fix those problems. So that's actually a pretty cool solution. Uh, a third solution, a third feature that I really like is the volume maximizer. And I think you guys run into this problem a lot on on phones where you're tending to take your hand and cut the speaker so you can actually hear it better. Well, when you're dealing with Dolby enabled devices. Um, you actually get maximization for free and you'll get output of loudness really, really good. So, uh, for example, the Kindle Fire, if you played that and you compared it to a Nexus 7, you're going to significantly hear a difference in, in audio loudness. Um, and lastly is surround virtualization where you can take your existing assets and it'll actually play in surround sound. We have uh, two features called the surround virtualizer and a surround up mixer, that, which I didn't list out here, but it'll take stereo, it'll take stereo assets and it'll up mix it to surround sound. So it's a pretty cool solution. And we wanna make sure that uh, you app developers start thinking about 
uh, building in um, either stereo better if you build in surround sound. So I do want to talk a little about, about the integration of our API into Marmalade. Um, the first step is pretty simple. You download the plugin um, and you integrate it into your product. So the second step is to include the S3 uh, the S3 Dolby Audio subproject into your MKB file. And as Marmalade developers, you know all about this. Um, the third step is to include the S3 Dolby Audio, the header file into your source code. And the last step is simply you want to start coding. Um, and I do want to highlight a few of these. Um, the first one is you want to check to see if the target device is an Android device. And it's a Boolean check. So all you're going to do is call this function, S3 Dolby Audio Available. And what this does is it checks to see if your device, uh, the, the device that you're deploying on is an Android device. So this solution right now is uh, only for Android. We decided to start with Android, and we will be deploying onto BlackBerry and iOS very soon. Um, but we want to make sure you as app developers check for this. So very critical you do that. Um, the second step as a, as a, when you're coding is to check to see if Dolby technology is found on that Android device. Um, as this solution is actually pretty new. So, you know, our technology isn't baked into every Android device yet. Um, so you want to double check to see if that device has, uh, has, uh, has Dolby built in. Um, once you do that, all you have to do is turn Dolby on. Um, again, S3 Dolby Audio Initialize. Uh, if, it, if it returns null, Dolby isn't there. If it returns true, then you know it's there. And best practices include these three function calls. And the reason I want to explicitly point these out is because by using our solutions, you could potentially leave audio processing on. And if you do that, battery life could take a hit. So when you're minimizing your game, your Marmalade game, make sure to suspend correctly. Uh, when, you are, when you're actually in the foreground, make sure you call for uh, Dolby Audio Restart. Right? And lastly is when you're exiting the game, you want to make sure you have the audio object. Okay? So as an app developer, yes, you'll be able to get better audio. But what does that really mean? Well, you get that better experience for the user. And what we've seen time and time again for the past three to four months is that the users are noticing a difference with games when using audio, our audio solutions. Uh, a great example is the one that you see up on, on, on the screen. And this user said the following, is it me or is the audio in this game really good? It sounds better than any other applications I've downloaded. It really helps with the game experience, love it. So these users are noticing and they're actually pointing it out when they write reviews. So if you guys do a search for any of these games on, for example, the Amazon App Store, you're gonna see several reviews where the users are noticing a sound difference. So we wanna make sure that you as app developers also get access to this and reap the benefits. Um, again, it's a free solution. Uh, the, the technology is already baked into devices. So the hardware manufacturers are, are using it. We might as well let you third party app developers get it as well, okay? Um, so I wanna quickly talk with Ken Grant um, so Nick or, or Steph, if you guys want to uh, unmute him, uh, I'd love to ask Ken some questions about uh, about the Dolby Audio API. Hey, good to hear from you, Eric. Okay, so um, Ken, would you just introduce yourself and um, just talk about your company a little bit? Well, I uh, I make my own apps um, and they're games. I started with Marmalade back in uh, 2010. And uh, I've got two uh, products on the market for BlackBerry and uh, following iOS and uh, Android. They're done. They just need to go through submissions. That's build and bash and save the earth. Cool, cool. Um, so, so, you know, you talked about Marmalade here, um, and you, you started with them back in the day. Uh, any reason why you decided to use Marmalade? Yeah, at the time, um, I was looking for the best uh, C++ development system, and Marmalade was clearly the best back then. And as far as I'm concerned, it's still the best. Okay, okay. Um, so after hearing about Dolby, um, what did you find appealing about our solution? So, and basically why did you, why did you integrate it into your games? Well, I'm always for better sound. Um, and I've always felt that the uh, 
the mobile devices really needed a boost in that area. And uh, when the offer uh, from you guys for Dolby integration came along and with a stipulation that it should only take a half hour, um, I thought, well, what can I lose? Um, <laughs> Well, that's good. You, know, you talked about the half hour. Um, so, so speaking of the half hour, was uh, was the Dolby Audio plugin for Marmalade, what, which I introduced at GDC to you, uh, was it simple to integrate? Yeah, it's it's never 15 minutes. None of those things are. If you really want to do it right, you got to check everything out. It takes a little longer, but it was quick. It was as quick as anything else I've integrated. Okay. Okay. So, so after implementing our API, did you hear a difference? Oh yeah, uh, it's like you're ten, uh, changing the volume from a, a four out of ten to an eight out of ten. It, uh, it's so noticeable. Okay, okay, uh, that's good to hear. Um, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, and you know, since we have some developers on the call today, um, did you have any tips and tricks uh, about this API? Did you run into any roadblocks uh, during your develop uh, during your development? Well, one thing I realized is that I still have to do the cleanup. Um, I, I haven't completed that, and and watching this uh, webinar reminded me of that fact. Um, but outside of that, um, the hardest thing for me was, let's see, uh, was figuring out uh, where and how to put in a manual Dolby control because I wanted to cycle through everything. Uh, really, that was like a, like a toggle switch of some sort, so uh, your users could hear a difference. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I wanted to integrate that into the product uh, without being, um, so I could leave it in there. So it would be a neat thing for people to use or test. Okay, okay. Well, um, that's good to know. Um, so, you know, I do look forward to seeing, um, right now you, you have deployed onto BlackBerry. I look forward to seeing your apps on the other app stores as well. Um, so that way, uh, I, I wish you all the success with your with your apps and hopefully Marmalade will help you with that and Dolby. Well, thank you. The uh, the uh, the Amazon version should be done in uh, or submitted in within a month, I would think. Okay, great. Um, okay, cool. So um, Ken, if you just want to stay on the call, I will uh, I will continue on with my slides. And uh, if there are any Q and A's about development, uh, would love to see if you can chime in on that from any of the participants. Sure. Okay. Uh, just to add a link to Ken's um, website down in the side for anybody who's interested in checking out his work. All right, so just uh, if you want to contact us, contact Dolby Developer. Um, again, my name is Eric Ang, and uh, my Twitter handle, personal Twitter handle, is AngJC3. Um, if you want to reach out to Dolby Developer's Twitter handle, it's Dolby Dev. And we do have a developer site. It's developer.dolby.com. And one thing that I'm trying to do different from a lot of uh, other uh, developer programs is uh, use the community. Uh, so we do have a couple of metadata tags on Stack Overflow. So if you guys want to uh, have any questions, please take a look at the specifically this tag Dolby Audio API. I am moder moderating that with the Stack Overflow guys. So um, we're trying to keep up to date and definitely use the community. And lastly is Amazon has uh, blogged about our API as well. Uh, Amazon believes that uh, this is a game changer for their tablets um, and they want to make sure that every app developer is using this because it's going to make their devices sound incredibly better than their competition. Um, and I do want to point out that we are giving a Kindle Fire away uh, for this particular webinar series. Um, and it's a developer challenge that we're hosting with Marmalade. Uh, and what I want you to do is simply register on developer.dolby.com and use promo code uh, marm underscore web underscore promo. Sorry, I couldn't keep that any shorter. And download our, download our plugin. Implement it into your game and submit to Amazon's App Store before the 21st of May. And make sure to include keywords and descriptions powered by Dolby. Um, what I realized from this is that just like in the movie theaters, when you see that Dolby logo or that, that that statement powered by Dolby, your users will find that your applications are made of quality. And I can't stress that enough because when you go to movie theaters and you see it, you expect the best. So your users will expect the best of your game uh, when you point something out like that to them. And lastly is send us an email. Uh, and make sure to have your game live before the 21st of May. Um, I think that gives you guys roughly two weeks um, to get 
to implement this product live onto an app store and send us an email. And please make sure to include your Twitter handle. And Dolby and Marmalade, I'll work with Steph and Nick um, to, 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 uh, to announce that winner via Twitter on the 23rd of May. All right, so again, uh, you get a free device for taking 15 minutes of your time, 15 to 30 minutes of your time to uh, make audio sound better in your games. If you have any questions, if the audience has any questions, you can type them into the left side of your screen. Uh, ask the question. Um, right now, um, if you implement this, um, obviously the audio enhancements won't be apparent on iOS um, right now, but we are working with Apple and in integrating this into their product. So the great thing about it is if you do it now, and when, I, when Apple decides to turn us on, those Apple users will get it automatically. So my, 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 I encourage you guys to just do it and it'll automatically show up on iOS and BlackBerry in the future. You know, just wanted to say thank you guys for joining this uh, webinar series and, you know, definitely want to participate in more, more, more events with uh, Marmalade in the future. So excited about that. All right, and thank you guys for, for attending. And we'll see you at the next webinar. All right, well, thank you guys. Hey, see everybody later. Okay, bye.